Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Hey. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss. Talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official. Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Nothing, not my dad walk on. Man, hey man, I woke up this morning, so we here. Exactly. Man, been a long day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Say, man, check it, man. Hey, man. Hey, um, we got a special guest in here today, man. This guy here don't need no introduction. He been doing uh, all type of interviews. I done went down that rabbit hole and try to understand just what make him tick. So I'll be able to interview him, man. We don't just come in half cocked. Nah, for real. You know what I'm talking about, research, man? Huh? Say, man, my boy K Twan Fame is in the building. What's going on, man? Hey, man, big stuff in the building, man. Say, Straight man. Up. You already know. Say, man, you've been causing a lot of trouble, man. I got a few <laughs> calls on this one, nigga. Hey, yeah, nigga, I got we, a few calls. Hey, we be ready for any trouble, I promise you. <laughs> now, I stand up. I, hey, I'm going to stand on what I say. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to show. I'm going oh. to show what I say. So, so, shit, you know. Hey, man, just just thank you for coming on the ah, show, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I've been, you know, I've, been, I've been watching it, bro. You've been. You, say, we just pulled hey, up, you, like you, I you always say. We just. Been a, we you just got some people up. trying to catch up, and you just started. Well, you know, we've we been in the game, what, 10, 10 months? Yeah. 375 of, uh, uh, episodes later. Yeah. Yeah, stop playing. 10 we months. Ju- dropping every damn day. We yeah. like you, nigga. Nah, that's what real. I'm talking about. That's real, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love it, though. <laughs> we hustling, See, man. We working, baby. So, just, uh, you know, being you born in Louisiana. Born in Bastion, Louisiana. Bastion, yo. Louisiana, right down there by Monroe. Right there. Yeah, but, right there. but moved Shreveport, up. Monroe. Yeah, moved up here later. No, but how long were you there? Oh, for? she going down there. It uh, is. I moved. I moved from down there when I was like nine. Nine. nine ten. I moved to Dallas. When so I was you like, remember being down there? Yeah, 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 yeah. How was it like growing there. up down there? Uh, shit, I grew up in the projects down there. I grew up in a pro- uh, apartments called Eden Apartments. You know, as a kid at the time, you know, you don't as a kid you don't look at shit as being the projects. But mm-hmm. now, now that you older and you go down there, like damn, these were the projects. You feel right. me? Um, but they like one of the most notorious projects in Bastrop. Uh, and that's why I stay, you know, I remember being a kid and, um, true story. Like I used to have a babysitter, um, named Nita Joyce and, uh, her older sons used to watch me. So I was a bigger, like a little bigger kid, you know what I'm saying? So they used Mm -hmm. to make me like fight everybody, even Mm -hmm. when I ain't want to fight type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how people be like, shit, I got molested. You know what I'm saying? Like there was some shit like where... I didn't want to fight, but I had to fight. You know what I'm See, saying? Yeah, somebody like, told us that recently, that when you from Louisiana, it's yeah. like, you have to fight. There's yeah, no, there's and no I, and they, about it. They like lined up kids. Like, I'm one kid on this side, and you got a line of, you know, 15 kids in front of me. I got to mm-hmm. fight each one of them. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. And how just, old were you at that time? I probably, Eight or nine. I probably was like, probably, no, nah, I probably was like no, that was six before or seven. That, right. Six or seven. Yeah, wow. I probably was like six or seven. Wow. But that's and, something I just remember. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah, that you shit can't forget about, yeah, you can't yeah. forget about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, and then, um, so you were raised with your mom and dad? Oh, uh, you know, just really my mom. My dad, you know, at first he went to the army. Mm-hmm. He went to the army for a long time. So, really, I ain't gonna lie, it was just me and my, me and my uh, mama. How uh, old were you when he left? Oh shit, man! I probably was like five. Okay, so you didn't yeah. you didn't have a male figure in your life for nah, a nah, while. Nah, that's why I go so hard now. You know what I'm saying? Nothing to my pops because I still talk to him to this day. You know what I'm saying? But we don't talk, we don't talk as much, but. You know what I'm saying? But you still have to count your blessings because you yeah. have some men who walk, walk out of their kid's life yeah. and you never know your yeah. father. You yeah. know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, 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 exactly. So, so dude, when you when you was growing up, your father, I mean, do you have kids now? Yeah, I got three girls, man. Oh, you're you oh, you in trouble. <laughs> but, 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 had, you, but that's a good thing you know, because you're going to stay rooted and grounded yeah. in that situation. You know, that's a whole other story. You know, I yeah. had my first child at 13, man. 13, I seen that. Yeah. How old was she? The girl, mm-hmm. she was uh fourteen oh, already. Okay. That's what I I got turned out by a fourteen year old. Yeah, I was twelve, <laughs> nigga. Oh, yeah, damn. I remember. I never forget that. 
Hey, yeah. hey, I, I was a, I was a virgin, nigga. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, no, they got me. Nah, she got. They were from Dallas. I'm from the country. They came hey, down. That's what they happened came to me. down, my nigga. And, and when they came, my partner, it was football practice. Yeah, I know we going crazy, but yeah, yeah I went over after football practice, <laughs> and uh, my my partner took me. And she was there, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know the rest say, is history. Y'all saying that yeah, she, she got took advantage you. of a young boy. Y'all are young boys. Yeah, y'all are young boys. Y'all want so y'all want that? <laughs> no, y'all no. be looking at some of these older girls and be like, No, I, I really well, just didn't know what I was doing. I got in there yeah. with the best thing. I did it the best I knew how. Nah, for real, what you I, know I had, what, <laughs> what I had was irresistible, man. Like I had grew up, and she was like my. We was in apartments. Her mama was always gone, and she like. Was my next door neighbor. So, yeah. Like, it was. Have you seen her lately? Yeah, it's my baby mama. Oh, y'all still together? Nah, nah, we ain't together, but you know. Oh, shit, but y'all still see each other. Did she only yeah. have one so child? So that was for the you first time, and you had a, a baby as soon as you did it. Yeah. That's man, dope, man. man. I didn't. Yeah, I yeah. Was shooting blanks. But hold my on, nigga. but. I did, was shooting blanks, my nigga. You know. I had to hey, be. I, I was going to go back to your court. What would you what you just ask? No, I was going to ask you. I was going to say, is she your. um. Baby mom for one of your kids, or did you end up having See, another child with her? So, man, it's that's a long story because, you know, a lot of people don't understand my hustle because, bro, I've been on child support since I could be on child support. So my, wow. my first baby mama put me on child support. You know what I'm saying? So I've been on child support. But how does that work? Because when you have a child at 14, she, they can't go back that far. Work. They're going to try you when you're 18, right. and they're going to put you on back pay. No. So you got to pay all them All years. the way back to 13? To, yeah. Damn it, man. God but, damn. I no. but look, I ain't missed one payment in my whole life. You know what I'm saying? But I they back one paid you from 18 to 13. Yo, you know what a lesson in that? Don't have kids young. Nah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dog. You can get yeah, your roll yeah, on. Real, just gotta, real. you know. You know. Just, yeah, yeah. Life is so. what it is, it's brother. So. Like I mean, you know. Yeah, that I know you're proud of your daughter, and oh, so yeah. I ain't nobody. Oh, yeah. How old is she now? Oh, yeah. Man, my daughter's seventeen. Bro. Check it, man. Grown. You know what I'm talking about? Nah, yeah, real. yeah, she, yeah. She and probably grown. and y'all talking everything. Cool. Everything. As, see what I'm so saying? So you're an active do, father. Yeah, I do everything for. Her. Is she in Dallas? Why on child support? Huh? She in Dallas or Arlington? Oh, that's, that's dope, man. That's, uh, all three of my kids stay all of them. That's dope, bro. So, so you didn't? Did you, you have any? Well, you didn't really answer my question. Did you have any more kids with her? No, nah, no. Nah. I got okay. one kid with her, and then I got two. With two other? With, um, no, no. I got two baby mamas. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah I, I got, got three. Two. Yeah, yeah. I only mm -hmm. got two, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it go down like that. Ah, yeah. You know, down, you know, bro. people, people out of day. Yeah, we go through changes. <laughs> you live, you learn, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but at the end of the day, we, 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 hey, we live to see another day. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. so. But when you're not a grandpa yet. Hell not no. yet. Hell I'm just checking because no. he started. He did his thing at 13, Hell 14. No. So I, I'm just checking. I always put in her head. Don't be like me. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. nah. Don't. But most parents, they do that, but sometimes kids you end know? up being just like them. True, true, true. So. But nah, thank God my daughter not. You know what I'm saying? That's good. Get so when, what made you, when y'all came to Dallas, where did you where did you guys move to? When we first moved to Dallas, I always leave this part out. I said, the next interview I have, I get asked this. I'm not going to leave it out. I stayed on Skidman and Adelia. Yes, sir, nigga. You was over A there. A lot of people don't know that, but people who live in the city know me from being in North Dallas too. Okay. And you'll never hear a motherfucker be like, ah, oh, this nigga lying because I swear everything I spit facts. Like I'm not no false claiming that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to be in the trenches in the North all times of the night. That was the first place when I first moved to the North Dallas, um, that was the first place I swear to God I was over there for two weeks, probably, in Dallas, and I seen a person get killed over there in my apartments. So how long did which you apartments? stay over there? Y'all about to say which huh? apartments? You remember uh, the apartment's name was Arbor Park. Yeah, I know, oh, Arbor I know Park. They probably be called something else I now. I know. I remember Arbor Park. I'm yeah, from yeah. the old school, so yeah, I, was, I, I used to Arbor stay Park. over there. I, I, well, not Arbor Park, but uh, Indigo Apartments right there. Are they there. still called Arbor Park no, now? I don't know, but yeah. I know I stayed in the Indigos uh, yeah. back. What year was that? Shit, I don't, man. I'm you the last young. person you want to ask. Yeah, but you how young. long were you? How long did you stay over there for? We stayed over there like two years. Two years. Two years. Okay, so from nine till eleven. You yeah. went to that little barber shop. It's a barber shop right there too. It, it used to be a barber shop by by the Family Dollar. Yeah, it was it, it right across from that Alberson. Used to be yeah. Alberson. You remember yeah, that Alberson? Yeah. It right across the street. Yeah, yeah. For a, sure. a, it was a, a Muslim dude. Yeah, yeah, me and him used to go yeah. back and forth. We I used to be we all we argue about. I'm a Christian. He a Muslim. We argue. We argue every day. I used to be all through there, man. My best friend uh, at the time was a, was a little black kid named Lewis, and he was on the news. He died in one of them lakes out here. Okay. Um, Probably. But that was before I had 
that was after we had, you know, we grew up. He was my friend as a as a kid, but I just remember seeing like, damn, he used to be my best friend as a kid, and he died in one of these lakes out here, and I can't remember what lake it was, but he drowned. Probably Joe Pool. I think it was Joe Pool. Mm-hmm. It was one of them. I don't, I don't remember. For though. some reason, that's the one that you always hear Everybody, on the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name was Lewis, though. Yeah. Was, but but let me. Ask, so, how old were you when you discovered your passion for the music? We going into it. Huh? Oh yeah, we got to go in, man. See, my granny always was used to have me in church you know what i'm saying the whole time i was in louisiana i stayed with my grandma too mm-hmm. i stayed with yeah i stayed with my granny too um and that's how i got in i used to be like four five years old leading church songs mm. so wow. you can sing yeah yeah i can sing a little bit i, I say i say can't how good. i say i can't but everybody else say i do yeah, you know my, what I'm my saying? brother say you 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 kind of push him in the mind of mo three sometimes yeah a lot of people say that but then you I know a lot another nigga say you you turn from yellow to mo three it's a lot of stuff yeah. they told me about ah, you yeah, yeah, like man. you change from this I nigga hear, to that nigga i hear i hear all kind of shit. i guess i'm a little bit of everything you yeah. feel me they can't put me in no box well, you feel uh, me? but thing? when it comes to talent can't nobody fuck with me really. no but when you start out when people start out um in music they always try to replicate somebody till they figure out who they really are because Yo. sometimes you have to try different things to f- and push see, yourself to figure see, see the thing about that is i always love singing and rapping i was doing it when, when it wasn't cool i was recording at 17 years old i was singing and rapping then before i even knew of a mo3 you know what i'm saying before in the city knew mo3 i was singing and rapping but before you know if when a person elevate bigger than you, they always gonna look at you as the motherfucker that is copying him. Right. But really, I had been doing the way before him. You know what I'm saying? So you but think this, so you so did hard. you so you Just saying that same way? Right. Yeah. You I really can't even say I can't even say my hustle just went as hard. I just didn't know what way to go about it. Like I didn't know what to do with music when I first started. I had to learn all this shit. Yeah, but when you I hear so many stories about um, people when they start in and grinding. Yeah. You don't sleep, you stay up, you go to the studio, you figure out who to talk to. That's yeah. why I say your hustle wasn't hard enough because yeah. you yeah. won't go that's, where you need to go to that's get true. what, you, know, you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's so true. So if that was the case, you would have been neck and neck with him or before him. Yeah, yeah. But you, you see, see, three star getting hot when he had rainwater. I never had a manager. Yeah, but the thing you, you know gotta understand, saying? y'all talking outside of y'all neck, man. <laughs> yeah, why Whatever you say that? Calls, what God have for you, it's gonna come when it need to be there, and it's always I right just, on time. It's so funny all you that say other that. stuff y'all saying is cool, but I know the yo, truth. And I the just truth made a post the, the other day, man. That where you at right now is where exactly you supposed to be. That's God true. don't make no mistakes, man. That's true, and so, I and it's funny you say that because my favorite saying is, "He may not come when you want him, but, he right but on, he'll be there right on time." You know what I'm saying? And that's a song. That's actually a song I used to sing in the choir too. Man, so you let know me what I'm hear saying? a little bit of it. Ah oh, man, come on, man. <laughs> you don't put that nigga all. May not be when you're born, but yeah, 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 nigga ain't for the do that. Nah, because you say you, you see, and let me tell you, for like for me, where Mo three is concerned, I was never a Mo three fan till I heard him sing because I love R and B. So when I was on Instagram one day and I heard him, I'm like, damn, he can really sing. You know, you know what can, I mean? Yeah, he he. he you saying I mean, do you do you think that you uh, are as, was as good as Mo three, or better? Man, I think because in the city you've been you've been I, talking. I, they, I heard I heard you say this you the, the best thing. to do this. I honestly, I always say this. I feel like if if there was a competition in the city as far as talent and that, it would only just be me and him. Okay, and I say that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm finna be bigger than him. Yeah. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Mo three, man. I fuck with, if. If out of anybody music in the city, I would be listening to Mo Three music. Okay, and Kingpin Capo. When That's he was living, it. or when when or, or when when you didn't listen to him when he was living? Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah. yeah. I a got lot it. of niggas say that, but a lot of niggas nah, ain't listening to know. him when he was living. I let him know. I every I buy everything on Apple Music. I got all his shit on Apple Music. I buy it literally. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite song? Oh. Mm-hmm. Shit. Yeah, that's what I, I go all, 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 all the way down. All the way down. I like all the way down. All the way down. All the way down. What sure. song? All the way down. Oh, it's the name. It's all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Money Moses who show up late to work, but he always on time. He that. like God, I guess. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. nah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> but no, so, <laughs> so so what's going on, man? So and when I look at your music, man, um, a couple of songs that I, I always, you know, just, big step. Yeah. What inspired that, man? Man, I made a song like ten minutes. Really? Yeah, and really, the beat inspired me to do that. Like. 
it be sometime when I record the beat will tell me what to say, and that was one of them things that were as soon as I heard the beat, I fell in love with it and started rapping on it right then and there. That's all it was. You punch so you punch, that's what I was gonna I was yeah, 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 yeah. on that song, I really did. Yeah. So do you normally punch it or you normally write? I like I like to write. I don't okay. like I don't like I feel like I, I give you my best me when I write. I feel like when I freestyle it just be some sh- it just be some shit, you know what I'm saying? But mm. out of all the songs you've ever done mm-hmm. and put out there, which one do you think it's it's your favorite? And then the other one, it's everybody else's favorite because your favorite might not be everybody else's favorite. Oh, man, y'all done came up and got brain dead, but I got a, I got a song called I'm Up Now. It's one of my favorites yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. You like that one? You know what I'm saying? Just like it. It, it come from a real place, and I'm speaking real facts. And it, you know what I'm saying? not saying I, I'm speaking cap in my other music. I'm just saying I feel that one in my soul. Mm-hmm. I got a song called, uh, um, God damn. What's the depression song I just made? Uh, huh? My yeah, fault. it's my fault. Yeah, I'm looking at that. And one. that's yeah. the one that everybody else love. It's just, it's just that's the one that people be like, man, that shit touched me because you know I'm rapping about depression. A lot of people deal with depression. I, ain't, I ain't especially a, now it's in COVID yeah, times. And I, ain't, stuff. I ain't afraid to say I deal with depression or I dealt with depression. I feel like everybody at some point in life, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. deal with depression at some point. I agree. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it ain't like, oh man, you go, you going through depression. Yeah, I done been depressed. It been like I say in other v- interviews, you gotta look. I came up in the era of Mo3, Yellow Bees, and Trap Boy. I was there. Whether the true Dallas people that really know, know. I was there. But this is this was me. This was them. You feel me? They left me. I couldn't compete with what they had going. You know what I'm saying? I drop a video. That motherfucker get 2,000 views organically. And I'm like, with no machine behind it. I'm like, damn, you know? I'm doing but, something. But let me ask you something. Even though, even but, though, even though you say that, do you think? Because what what really elevated those guys was uh-huh. their their being beefing with one another, yeah. their competitive nature. You not being in now. If you'd have had some issue with somebody, do you think that it would have scaled you even more? It, it always will. You see what I'm we saying? We already know, you know, sex and controversy going to always. That, that's what I'm saying. So uh, it, it may not have been the fact that the mu- music was just better. It may, yeah. it may have been the fact that they was having yeah. issues with everybody and one another. But, so, but at this time, to go with what you were saying, they wouldn't beefing at this time. The trapping designer stage and all that? That's what I'm saying. Okay. In that in that area, the okay. trap and design and, area. Uh, See that that's, the church that church song. That's exact. That's when they were coming together. That's right. With the new Dallas. That's thing, right. Uh, Welcome to Dallas. Welcome you know to what Dallas. Saying? That's when that was coming together. Okay. I was there, but I still was underrated. What do you, what do you make? What do you just cause the machine they had behind them? You think? Yeah, it's a it's a lot. It's a lot to the rap game that a lot of people don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's like it should be a rap bible. Yeah, I agree with that. But he talked about having a manager, a good manager behind you as well. Yeah, and you got to look. I always felt like I was blackballed in the city. Why? Why? Simple, I'm going to tell you. I was looked at, at first, I, I went from looking at as an out-of-town nigga, and then I went to looking at uh, I'm a Grove nigga. You feel what I'm saying? But the out-of-town nigga stained me because I, he, ain't even from, he ain't even from Dallas. You know what I'm saying? And that'll, that'll make people be like, nah, nigga, whatever. We ain't even listen to your shit, nigga. You, you go to Louisiana with that shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. They didn't really understand. Like, nah, nigga, I've been down here since a kid. I'm, I'm, I'm Dallas. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But that's just how I feel. That's neither here. No, no. So you don't rap Louisiana too? Huh? You don't rap Louisiana? I love Louisiana. I mean, you got to think. He's who he is. Louisiana is my roots. You know what I'm saying? And the Louisiana people and their culture, they going to, like, the people that be on my pages on my social media they love me to death so i never be like nah fuck Louisiana. i gotta rub Louisiana. but you can't because that's, that's where a, your roots at exactly exactly look where my granny stay right exactly. now. exactly so you can't now nah, you got to yeah. go home big mama exactly. gotta cook some uh yeah some cakes and some pies exactly. nigga, it's thanksgiving coming up but you might want to pull up i'd say if if i was born in dallas and all bred in dallas I would have been, I would have, I would have been running up and down this motherfucker like big, big running up and down this motherfucker. I see you, you tie in with uh, um, with half pain a lot on, on videos. I see you, or either you, uh, or you putting them so on this, this platform. What's up with that? Let's talk right, about that. Let's for talk a minute. about that. So you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with half pain at all. You know, we had a, we had some dis, some dis, uh, I won't even say disagreements. We had a couple arguments as men. You know what I'm saying? Um. 
But when I first started dropping my videos and started getting real serious about music, um, I, I went straight to Half Pint because he had the biggest page. And how old were you at that time when you uh, when started getting serious? When I first getting started getting serious, right? I won't even say serious because I think I started dropping with Half Pint when I was like 21, 22 okay. years old. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um. But but yeah, but uh, right now, but I really don't go through half pain no more unless I really need to. Right now, I, I miss. I only go through either prophecy films, which who shoot a lot of Mo three mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, you the only. I'm the only yeah. platform to ever have him and interview him right <laughs> here. You for, okay, I'm the yeah. only one. Ain't nobody else. Yeah, you right. And, uh, yeah, I know. Cause he really don't. He really quiet. <laughs> but but exactly. me and him rock. We rock. Yeah, it's a whole different level over is here. He, is he? When, when you really been here for 15 years, yeah. everybody done rock with me because I'm yeah. a real one. When you do yeah. me, for sure. It's either him or it's a dude named Omar Castillo. Okay, the only Omar. Two. I know uh, Omar yeah. Castillo. Yeah, them the only two I deal with. Check into him. You need to check them out for sure. I like what you said because at least you didn't burn your bridge with Half Pine because you said you only do it with him if you needed to. So the if fact I that, need to. So the fact that you can still go back there and di and do yeah. it, that means yeah, that you haven't you, really burnt you, bridges. You got to understand, my f it's, it's hard to say. I'll I will I'll take you down there, but me and Half Pine had a disagreement about I'm a real nigga. So he came to me at my at my peak of Big Step and he was saying, like, hey, I want you on this show. I, I instantly said, Hey, it's half pint. I'm doing it for you. No mm -hmm. matter what. They threw a top off entertainment show at Club AOD. It was, okay. It was a good turnout. Um, in my return, I wanted him to be like, hey, I want I want a video I want a video. Mm -hmm. This for a show. I'm charging fifteen hundred for a show. You charging fifteen hundred for a video. Just give me a you know, give me that. But when I called him to get mine back, I felt like it was more mine was a simple yes. My his was a simple his wasn't a simple yes, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, more business mind, which I had to respect. Uh, you but, you but have was, to. But was this agreement made, like, whenever he asked you, you said to him, yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. then and there, you yeah, made yeah. that agreement? Exactly. Okay. And that's that's what kind of rolled me the wrong way with Half Pint. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but, but like I told him about him and uh, Half Pint and Sean Cotton, uh, uh, hey, it, you st you live to see another day, yeah. and you can get past different things. Yeah. We buy money. Yeah. We got money. So yeah, yeah. money come and money go. But exactly. it is a principle. But at the end of the day, as you evolve, man, you always got, like you doing, you yeah. keep those doors open. You know, Always. And like I said, there ain't no problem with half pint. I just use them when I need them. When you need them. You know them. what I'm saying? That's yeah. It. But that's, I mean, that's a, that's good to hear. I had a question. Uh, earlier you were talking about um, depression, that you've been through depression and so forth. Yeah. Um, can you list? a time that was very memorable to you, something that you went through and you overcame because our listeners, you know, and people listen, everybody listen, and they might be going through something that you have already yeah. went through and overcame. You got to look, man. I disappeared for like seven years. Wow. Um, I disappeared for like seven years, and I stopped doing music for like almost four. What had happened? Like just being depressed, like you know what, what I'm saying. What made like, you depressed? What made me depressed is what I had just what I had just uh, mentioned when I said that I watched Trap Yellow Mo three. Um, all we were all right there, but when they, you know what I'm saying, I'm sitting here still making music and I can't keep up with shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not making no music. I'm not making no money off of it. I'm just putting a whole bunch of money into it. So at that point, if when you love music as much as I do and it's your passion and you ain't getting nowhere with it for years. You know what I'm saying? For years, I'm talking about ten, probably seven, eight plus. You know what I'm saying? That'll put you in depression mode. You know what I'm saying? And shit, that's that's pretty much what happened. I just stopped doing it. I stopped. But how did you overcome I, that? Yeah, you were you disappeared for seven years. Yeah. But what made you come back? What made me come back is just my love for it. I can't. That's the only thing I can say. I, just my love for it, and uh, I started going back to the studio every day recording, and I was like. Man, I'm going to start just putting shit in the vault. Even though, you know what I'm saying, I'm not fully there, I'm going to still continue recording because I know the time going to come. And what really woke me up was Big Stepper. You know what I'm saying? And that was two, what, Big Stepper almost almost going on two and a half, three years old now. Because, you know, in life you always have your ups and downs. The devil oh, can yeah. hit you in so many different ways. Yeah. So what will you do the next time when a depressing moment comes, something that's going to, you know, set you back Shit, now, for you now, not to do that again. I hadn't been in a long time, but now I just talk to God about it. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can, that's all I do. Um, and I believe, like okay. I believe in myself. 
I believe so much that I'm, uh, that I'm about to uh, be a millionaire, that I'm about to get a million dollar deal, because it's coming. Like, I'm starting to see it. So it, it'll be hard for me to go back into that dark hole with everything I got going on now that I didn't built for myself. You know what I'm saying? Just being honest with you. Yeah, I can tell you believe in yourself because the way how you do oh, on yeah. social media. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But and that's the thing. See, I used to, for all those years, I've been quiet. I've yeah. been quiet and humble. So it took me to start really... Really being who I really am and telling you how I really feel for people to really start paying attention because all them eight nine other years I was quiet like man I'm just I just I'm just cooling man you know I know I got talent that don't get you nowhere I had to learn that like you got to pop your shit the city that's what the city gonna react to you popping your shit they not gonna react to you just being a humble quiet nigga but it comes off as yeah. very cocky too shit yeah. that's what I'm finna be yeah. that's yeah. what I yeah. am and man. I don't, I don't, and, I don't. and, and, and with me talking, I really, when I'm telling y'all, I really feel that way. Can't nobody in the city fuck with me song for song. Period. I don't care who they is. Nobody. Nobody. But everybody's going to feel, anybody who um, is in the music and is good, yeah. or even some people who are not good, they believe in themselves, they're going to feel like yeah. they're better than you. That's how you should. That's, That's right. How you should. And I understand that. But I, I want people to understand what I said because I got so much backlash on this shit from from uh you know they want me and trap boy to go at it me and Ronnie to go at it what i mean is if you put me and another person in a in a room right with people who don't know neither one of us and you play 10 songs of mine and you play 10 songs of theirs and they vote on each song i'm gonna win every single time i promise you wow I yeah, promise. That's a, that's a big statement. Um, and the reason I say that is because I'm just thinking of the yellows and the and the little runnies and Yo. the trap boys. Yo. And uh, um, even Mo three, Mo yeah. three. I mean, and, he, and, him being RIP yeah. Mo three, but yeah, yeah. that's a heavy, that's a heavy, like heavy I, load. Like I said though, Mo three would probably be the closest to me to fucking around with me on that. And it's yeah. just me being honest. Do you listen yeah. to Lil Ronnie music? Um, uh, uh, my favorite song of Lil Ronnie's is New Year's Resolution. I don't, really, to everybody. I don't everybody. really listen to a lot of his booty shaking music because that ain't really my, you know, that ain't really my That ain't your Stilo, yeah. Yeah, that ain't really my Stilo. But I love uh, New Year's Resolution for shit show. Um, you know, man, it's been so much going on these last couple of days. I've been wanting to run down, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? On my on my social media, uh, people hating on me. And the people that's hating on me, bro, it be the, the people who had hits years ago in the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I mean, you 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 gotta expect that, and really, you don't need to be even shaken by that. That's not really something that you pay much attention to. When you're a yeah. hustler, when you know you good, you yeah. don't really, you know what I'm saying. You get you 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 just get really gotta. Uh, you know, Jay-Z said some one time, he say, and I always say this, he said, I'm in the air, I don't hear niggas corny raps. Like, when you focus, you can't really get let other things yeah. pull you away from what you're dealing with. Oh, my partner was telling me, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you but you still got to pop your, you got to pop like, your shit. You got to make sure yeah, that niggas know. He was like, bro, you got to start responding, because exactly. I swear to God, bro, I was fighting everybody. I didn't give a fuck who it was. That's, and that's what they Charles wanted to do. Say. You Charles feel White me? said the same thing. He said he was Bruce Lee killing yeah. these niggas and block. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, yeah. but it's the truth, like, when you feel like you you know you fighting everybody and everybody yeah. come up against you winning bro. yeah it, may, it you, put you on you, a whole nother level but one thing i can say you can't defeat the internet no you that's can't true. that's why you see so many people when i see celebrities i'm reading what they say they have to give you know social media a break sometime because that'll make you feel depressed as much bro. as we say comments don't matter because we know that you know they don't yeah. know you like that and whatever yeah. but somebody will say something yeah. and it just it's, gets to I you i ain't gonna lie to you as much depression as i've dealt with in my life it's crazy that that shit now I'm starting to like that shit's like my fuel like I don't know what it is like when I see people hating like at first I used to be that person to be like man don't put nothing controversial you know what I'm saying don't put nothing controversial out about me. I don't want nobody talking bad about me. But now I see that shit, man. I be laughing. I, man, no, no, I no. I, I I got caught up in reading them comments. Shout out to my boy Money Mose. He about to come on the set. Yeah. Hey. Um. But at any rate, uh, Money Mose, come over here. Um. We um. Like I said, we've been uh pretty much uh, uh we pull up in this thing, man. Uh, I had to bring him in. He he yeah. lo local Louisiana in. Okay. Yeah, y'all. Okay. He from Monroe. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So he definitely uh uh you know he, he he but he be back and forth. I can't keep him up down there. He nah. rolling. You know what I'm saying? He better than me, man. You just lied. You just lied. 
I guess when the money was coming in, you, you lied when that money was coming <laughs> like, in, that's the difference. Oh, well, that's the difference. I that's remember that's when the money was coming. When the money was coming in, yeah. I said, "Where you at, man? I'm gonna go, man. I gotta go. That's where that nigga yeah. was at. Yeah. That money was coming. It was good too. That was, that was a different route. <laughs> yeah, I can't go that route. Right so, kids. money, money nah, what's going real. on, man? I'm tired. You tired? Man, so you know, like I said, uh, we do. We, we got different. You know, yeah. I, I love to bring different questions, and yeah. and I know if I come just at you, I, I mean, when we do it, man, yeah. we do it to the max. So, sure so. Um, so I just want to get into a little bit. I'm gonna talk about the Drake thing, of course. That's the elephant in the room. So, yeah, yo. a lot of people say that's uh, that's cap. Yeah, they say that didn't happen for real. They say hey. the nigga didn't get no text. <laughs> the nigga lied. They, I, I'm just telling you what I, 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 I called shit, I around. Seen it. I, I said, seen oh, it. the nigga didn't get no text, but you yeah. know that's what niggas gonna. Say. Yeah, man. So you, I mean, you can't. Is is he? You can you can fake it, but why fake it? But it is good marketing. But yeah, yeah. tell me what's you, up you, with it. You leave them motherfuckers guessing, bro. That's okay. exactly what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? When they see what the next move over the next, I say about three to six months, they'll un, they'll see what's going on. And I, I won't even have to show the text. They gonna see who I'm around. But I, I, didn't you, you know have it? I think you showed yeah. it. Okay, so. What did Drake say to you, and why would Drake even hit you up? Is it just the talent that pull a nigga to you, or That's what? It, bro, you gotta look. Like I know some of the some some people. You know what I'm saying? I know people. You gotta look. One of the biggest one of the biggest managers in the city. A lot of people don't even know him. His name Paco. He was on the gatekeeper. I know Paco. You Paco know, been here. He used to try to sell me shirts. He was selling for shirts for Pow Wow. He was selling yeah. expensive tapes. Yeah. He was coming but over Paco, every day, wearing the hell out of me. He'd be with Flex and uh, Fab. Pa I know all Paco, these niggas, man. Paco yeah. got a lot of goddamn he, he connects. A dope dude, I like him. And he got my music, you know what I'm saying? And shit, ain't no telling who hear this shit. You know, you'll never know. You and y'all people be acting like, bro, bro, Drake hit up Black Boy JB. Okay. You telling me I can, my music can't fuck with Black Boy JBs? The shoot, shoot, <laughs> come on now. So it ain't it ain't impossible for Drake to hit a nigga up. You so feel when me? Drake hit you up, what was the, what was it what was it about? What was the I conversation? Just, I just told a person the other day. I, all Drake did was say he liked the song and keep going. That's all what it he was, said. All, all it was was the motivation to text to me. Wow, it was nothing more. How, but how did that make you feel? Like it was a motivation on top text. of the world for a minute. You like, yeah, nigga, yeah, I'm gonna go there. I ain't gonna lie. Like when I get in the room with certain niggas and certain niggas tell me certain things, like Steve Madden, me and Steve Madden on the wall right there. Yeah. That nigga say, hey, uh, e, uh, man, I uh, keep going, or yeah. I like what you doing, or hey, shout out to you, man. I see, you know, I'm this a, stuff I'm make a, you I'm feel like it, I'm gonna keep it all the way a hundred with yeah. you. Yeah, I'm gonna keep you all the way a hundred. It's just like, it, it just like like if my dad would have said, I'm proud of you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It would it's that quick moment, cool. He proud of me. But the thing about Drake is, you know, everybody know Drake a multimillionaire. You know what I'm saying? I'm still in the, I'm still here in the trenches, bro. I ain't nothing. My life ain't changed. I'm still grinding every single day. So that's all I and I never depend on another man or ex. You can say it's pride or whatever it is, but I'd rather get it on my own. So that's just how I looked at it, you know, like damn, I'm motivated. At the same time, I know I'm moving in the right direction. But that's all it is. It's just, hey man, that whole hard, cool. You know what I'm saying? It was for Big Stepper. No, no, no. What's, what song was it? I'm for up that? now. I'm up now. Yeah, yeah. It was so I'm up now. and 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 that that okay. So he heard that, and it was something he had to hear in that thing, man. It was some. What do you think it? What do you think it was? Shit, it's just the pain. It's just it's a just a real song. If you go listen to I'm up now, that motherfucker a real song. And like, that's what that's what that's that what whole, got him. Man, my cousin came me the other day talking about that whole give me chills like wow. that type of song. You know like, what I'm how saying? How you think he heard it? Shh. It could be a million things, a million ways how the motherfucker heard it. But one one way, how I always say, and how I always move, all my shit on my page is sponsored. I spend that's dope. I that's spend, dope. I spend thousands of dollars a that's month. That's dope. That, that'll sponsors. make it work. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you spend how much you think you spend a month on? I, on I can show you the bills. No, no, no. I don't need to show. Just tell <laughs> me. I mean, you popping it. I this say, up. I say about, I say. A month, at least fifteen hundred dollars on sponsorship. On sponsorships, yeah, that's dope. Sponsorship. I like it. And so you think Drake might have seen it through some of those sponsorships, or, or just Paco? Yeah. It could be anything because the anything. internet is pushing stuff out yeah. all kind of ways. It could be YouTube, anything. any anything. But yeah, this ain't man. It's been so many other people hit me up, bro. No, but the Drake thing is what really yeah. make a nigga say, "Wait yeah. a minute." 
Who Drake is this, who is this nigga? nigga? Up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Who is and, this nigga, man? Yeah, but I like yeah. it. I, I mean, I think you should be very proud of, uh, of that. You know what I mean? I am proud of it, though. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I didn't put in a lot of work, bro. It's a payoff, like a certain way. For, for so, sure. so what? Uh, um, what do you think? Uh, okay, the million followers. That's another thing. Um, you got a million damn followers, and I don't know you, man. Yeah, I'm being real. I don't know you. Like, yeah. when I, I, I was. I, who was it? Was it you? You the one. You knew it. Yeah. My yeah. boy right here knew you because he let that lose anything. I guess. How did you end up knowing? Oh, my K-20? sister. Your sister? Yeah, Jazz. She, she was listening to him. Jazz Brown. You know my sister. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Jasmine Brown yeah. is your sister. Yeah. That's crazy. From I know. That's, That's crazy. Know. That's Jazz. how you know? That's crazy, man. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out because hey, what I told him that, about you, hey. he was like, yeah, man, I've been trying to talk to him. His sister is a is lawyer, bro. Like, I got to look out for her when I get to where I'm going because she, she, she been stuck by me from day one when wow. I was just coming up. Like, nobody. It still is to this day. Nah, it still is. Is it what? what, what mm-hmm. How did y'all connect? Oh, she just social media. You know, it's, media? it's some it's some people that's gonna make you fuck with them. Like she'll come. Like I have a show. She'll pop up at it. I have this. She'll come. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a show with Tay Money soon. I'm gonna make her a part of it. Wow. Like, she gonna yeah. I'm gonna make her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have her do some stuff and work. I'm gonna pay her to do it. But yeah, she yeah she didn't earn a spot for for me for sure. So what do you say to the people who say that the million followers are, are fake followers? Oh, yeah. And oh yeah, man. I mean, I'm, 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 get, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, to, I'm trying to get there. So I, right, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna break it. How do I break it down to you the best? How did way? it go so fast? I want to hear. Uh, is it yeah, fake? Yeah. First of all, is nah. they fake? Nah. Uh, what's going on with it? I want to know. Did you buy any of it? Huh? Did you buy any of it? Did you buy it? Did, did I buy any of it? Yeah, all stuff right. like that. This is the, what we the rap know. game is to be sold, not to be told. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, so, <laughs> like I told you, it's so a rap bible. So, okay. but people can say mine is fake, but y'all ain't gonna say like the other people who got 600, 700, 200, 2 million uh, followers ain't, but mine is. Yeah. So is our lives fake or is our lives real? You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's a, it's a Dallas artist right now, 2 million followers. Who? I ain't saying no names. You, y'all go, y'all go check. Two, two million, million, two million followers. You might have thirty comments. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, so let's let's be fair here. You know what I'm saying? The game is to be. I say this again. Learn the game. And I and I say this. I say this in all my interviews. I'm gonna say this, and hopefully you understand what I mean by this. When I was young, I loved wrestling. Since that's all my family watched. You know what I'm saying? I came up watching Stone Cold, The Rock, all that. Right. So once I got about 12, 13, I learned that it was fake and I instantly stopped liking it. That's the rap game. Wow. If somebody, that might go over some people's head, some people might understand what I just said, but I can't give you all the game. Yeah, so how did you fight back into your love for it? Huh? How did you, you know, like for the music? Oh, how did you I'm keep finna, going? Because I'm finna make a million off it and I love music. I love music. Music can't be game. music can't be real or fake. Music is genuine. You know what I'm saying? But the rap game is fake as fuck. Okay, let me ask you this, and this is way off balance, but you're a Louisianian uh, with Lil Boosie and Nas X with the, the going back and forth that they got going right now. Yeah. Um, do you? Uh, how do you feel about that? What do you think about it? Man, I let I let people. I mean, I'm talking about gay. You know, yeah. Gay I let and, people. I let people do what they do. Okay. I ain't really a. What you call it? You know, racism is neither, man. It, if you gay, you gay. I, cool, I support you. You know what I'm saying? I get some. I get money with a gay person, like you just said. Booster said his assistant gay, right? Yeah. I don't have nothing against gay people. Yeah. At all. But, um, but the but them going back and forth. Yeah, because he trolled uh, Boosie. Boosie. But, he got but, a but song you can't really just say that because cause Boosie. I mean, he said things about him too before, yeah, yeah, like on Press Club. True. So it he ain't just started. Wrong, yeah, but see, to him, it, it to him, it would be wrong. No, to, to Nas X, yeah, to Nas no, X, it'd be wrong. No, he wasn't if saying you bringing that, that dude them. name up on uh, Breakfast Club and saying stuff about him, and Yo. uh, you know, yeah, it's gonna make you, if he, he did it about saying, you, it'll make you feel yeah, the type of way. He ain't said nothing wrong. All he said, that man run on stage, butt naked, and want to do a shot, beat his ass myself. Well, you brought my name up in my mouth. Kids watching this though. But if a nigga bring your name up. 
bring your name up, what yeah. happens? I, I get your point too. Yeah, but bring my name point. up. You put my name yeah. in your mouth on, on yeah. the big stage, and nigga. that's and that's funny because Boosie really been trolling him his now, whole time. Okay, that what I'm Na, talking about. Nas X said one thing, <laughs> and Boosie, I, I get what you're saying. I'm, I'm, I'm just on, saying no, I, I look at it from both sides, man. Y'all can't say Boosie trolling because the people asking about Boosie. brought that man name up first, bro. People asking that man about him. He ain't going there and say let's bring up Nas X. Yeah. You know they're gonna bring it up. Cause yeah. they know how they're gonna get with it. They yeah. always asking the man about him. He's not really talking about now. He's talking about the situation. He's yeah. like, You're not gonna make my, you, my kids you watch that shit. Yeah. That's your favorite you rapper. You're right, that's my nigga. nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm I see what he's saying. You're not gonna bring a lot of kids. I mean, you're not gonna Lu- do that. Hey, you from Louisiana, Boosie no. gonna be your favorite rapper. Say, man, that's my Boosie. favorite. I, I, I love favorite Boosie, rapper. but my favorite rapper is Pimp C, who pretty much discovered him and put him on. Yeah, yeah, so, that was your era. Yeah, so I'm an older cat. You know what I'm saying? Boosie, Kevin Gates, Webby. That's your era. Those my guys. Same shit. So, so the thing, I, yeah, that's because y'all from Louisiana, but still, you know, he do, he, <laughs> he Nas X, so, uh, yeah, Nas X didn't, uh, yeah, he didn't ask for all this smoke. Nah, he, nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But he, he did, did in he, a he sense, because he do it. things a little different yeah, than others, but that's his business. I'm going to say this. When you look at it from the rap game point of view, I was different say that. they both helping each other. Yeah. That's how fake and weird the rap game is. Get it, I get it. So yeah, that's why Boosie doing it though. Yeah, that's the reason why he's doing it. Yeah, Boosie gonna make money. He gonna he gonna always be trending. You know what I'm saying? So, well, let me ask you this: being a Louisiana, and what about Birdman? Do you feel like a uh, Birdman oh, is uh them is he like, a real good businessman, hey. or is he a is he a do he steal people money like they try to lose? I to? can't really speak on that because I ain't never. I'm been just in saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. Would you sign to it? Oh. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, everybody I seen and signed to him then had then had some success. From Rich Homie. I was just gonna say that. From Young Thug. I'm a big fan of Birdman. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I still gotta ask you questions. Yeah, yeah. I fuck I fuck with Birdman if the opportunity is right. But you gotta look, once I sign, I, I gotta sign for a set amount. And I'm trying to I'm I ain't doing nothing less than a million. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so do you think that uh uh Birdman could take you to another level with, with your with your with your craft, your gift? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I, I think a lot of times people don't really give him his his just do about like when the when you when you see the young thuggers and the rich homie quans and the NBA young boys go through that tunnel and deal with that man. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, and some of it is off the strength too. All yeah. of it ain't paperwork driven. You that's got to true. give him his respect, man, because he's touching a lot of different things that's going on man. with them niggas, man. I was watching something the other day, and they said he had 30 million at like 18 or oh, like 15. Oh, he ready? Like, he ready? What? Nigga? That's what I love about this platform. That's the reason this platform put here because I feel like East and the West Coast don't get a South to just do like, you know, no. to to give us a, a stage to to to, to spit what, so. what really we feel in the South. So For that was so. when I first put this together and he was in here with me. Yeah, I was down in the South. You know what I'm saying? So we, we hey, watch out now. But, <laughs> but I'm just saying we uh, basically uh, had to put something together and I feel like we just going to, I mean, sh- shout out Shorty Lowe Jr. We were here last week. He flew in to be on the show. Um, you know, it's just we putting a staple in this whole game, man, to where yeah. people like you, yeah. you know, get that, seeing that notification. Uh, uh, I look at like people like the row, you know, he ain't never been on the Breakfast Club, but you got people like Papoose who ain't never had a platinum artist and been on the Breakfast Club. Yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. telling you how that's I look so. at it. So my mind is twisted over man, here. That shit crazy. Did man. I just hit you with one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I be, I, I was thinking about your interview with Bobby too, man. OG Bobby Billion. Yeah, man. I just did it last week, man. What about that? Let's talk that about one. that for a minute. Yeah, he didn't get to go. Boy, I, only, I, I went down to boy. Houston. The only reason I did that was because I already had Rainwater on here. Like several times, and I like I had to balance the thing out. So, uh, what did you think about the interview? Man, I feel like if you watch what Real Tune was saying, like how Bobby keep digging himself in a deeper hole, mm-hmm. I feel like he doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just stop, just stop, because Rainwater, you know, Rainwater gonna troll you, troll you, troll you. He gonna get the best of you, he, and you know, he making the city hate him. You know what I'm saying? But um, how important is that though? If you, if like I tell people, if he go out and and he establishes himself with another, say he go get a, I, a, a banger with Kevin Gates, yeah. uh, a banger with uh, somebody that ain't even from Texas, uh, yeah. like he did with uh, with Blueface, yeah. does Dallas uh, stop? even matter? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I hear what you're saying. Once you get to a certain he ain't at that point yet to where Dallas don't matter though. He say he got some big ones. I, make sure you watch this week. I got more episodes coming yeah, out. But yeah. he say he got some big ones that y'all don't even realize uh, yeah, yeah, that's well, coming. That's the thing. I think that's what the city waiting on because I, I'm, 
I never wanted to be that artist, and I thank God I wasn't, that came off another man's feature. I never wanted to be looked out there. I don't even have features. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's what he that's what he's known as. Pretty much, right? Mm-hmm. Like what else you got without Mo three? Like show us something else. And that's Nothing. that's what <laughs> That's yeah, what well, I mean. Well, he's a different type of artist. You got certain, nothing. but you got <laughs> certain artists, nothing. man. Exactly. Keep writing. Yeah. Whatever you got, you got certain artists that 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 <laughs> do like like they the hook man, like Nate Dogg was. Exactly. So you got yeah. certain people that that's basically not out here trying to be that front runner, but it's always in the midst of a hit. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, listen, you follow he, he me? Trying to, he trying to be because he wouldn't have sit there and say I gave him a hit. Nah, for real. He like come on now. Yeah, he trying to. He be, wouldn't have said it. Yeah, he trying I to be that. Hit. Well. I mean, did he give him a hit? No, he didn't. Why not? That, I mean, if it was Mo that, that song that song was, was nice, was man. That no, song that's not hit. true. Yes, that's it not it true. That song would never be big enough. That's not true. Now, that's not true. That song won't even came out. He wouldn't die. You crazy, man? That. No, no, you you can't say that. You might, you might say that. You never know. I can honestly say though. No. I bought that song on iTunes before Mo3 was on it. There it is. I bought that song. There's evidence right there. But look, I bought that song before Mo3 was on it. It's on my iTunes right now. It was a hard song, but when Mo Three got on that, mo- it, but it wouldn't I have, agree with that. Just that, just that song, it wouldn't. Have, it was a good song to listen to, but it wasn't gonna be worldwide. It was just a cool song. Mo Three made that song global, worldwide. You know what I'm saying? Because he died. Because he died, and that even added more traction to it. And is that OG Bobby Billions' fault? No, no, nah, no, nah, okay. nah. I ain't never said. All I'm saying is, it was, it was he, a smart he, the dude him. made the, the and the dude made waves also for people smart, that's in the family of Mo Three, like he's saying. Yo. That song, his song, basically opened doors and put finances in people's pockets. Yeah. Stop that's playing. Cool. That's his song. That's cool. And he and 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 he still did right by it. So now he wouldn't done that song with Trap Boy, and I think that's why y'all got your rough feathers. Man, I don't on. give a damn about either side. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's real. That's <laughs> not no, either side. I go do a song with both of them. Nah, <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> you know what fuck? <laughs> fuck y'all gonna do? So, nah, for real, that's true though. But nah, man, do you I, think he should have done that? Because he said on the last one that I posted that Mo Three wouldn't have had a problem with him doing a song with Trap Boy if he, he was alive. No, I don't. I don't think he would have either. It was timing. Sometimes yeah, it timing. was just time. So y'all agree That's with Trap Boy? Yeah, time. He told yeah. him. He told yeah, me. I agree with Trap. Trap Tra- Tra- gave him real advice as an artist in this game. He knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knew. So do you think that is is it, that everybody else in Dallas? Because I'm seeing a, I'm, I'm I'm not seeing the big hit now, guys. Yeah. I mean, I seen it from outside, but yeah. where's where's the next big hit that yeah. that takes not only Dallas by storm, but all other surrounding states? The whirlwind goes all the way back up to the West Coast, so, where niggas say I want a feature. So, you know what I'm saying? So let me. So from let me. Whoever, I'm talking so, about the next hit. So I let me. Let me. From let me. Let me educate you and toot my own horn real Come fast. Come on with real it. Real fast. So. All right, big stepper, right? Okay. I created a global trend. People don't give me my credit for that shit. Okay. We still got, I made Big Stepper the song three years ago, two and a half, three years ago. We still got people right now making songs called Big Stepper. Okay. We still got people using stepper as a known word now in they, you know, in, they, in okay, everyday man. life. Right? So that's that. The only thing that stopped me with Big Stepper, I was traveling the world with it. The only thing that stopped me was COVID. COVID stopped me dead in my motherfucking tracks. But I'm gonna get to the point where you just said, the only thing that make a hit is the emphasis you put behind it. And what I mean by that is, Big Stepper was my biggest record because it was the hard, it was the biggest song that I went and put all my money behind and went to every DJ in the city and you know what I'm saying? So this next, I haven't did that with another song. I hadn't tried to. Mm-hmm. I'm about to though. Okay. So okay. to answer your question, you make the hit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't understand that, mm-hmm. but you make the hit. Listen to radio. I'm a trash ass. Yeah, song. it's a million it's trash songs. Over and over and over and over you and make over. the hit. You gotta put money. It man, this shit is money. When I say I go to every DJ and pay them, every DJ in the city, no, I ain't never asked for shit free. I done went to them as a man of business and paid them to play my song. And a lot of artists don't understand that. Or they just don't got the budget to do that. You know what I'm saying? And it be DJs don't even want you to pay them. I'm so real. Nah, you finna, I'm finna give you this because I want you to feel it when you playing it. You know what I'm saying? I want you to, you know what I'm saying? I want you to be like, I'm doing this for a reason. Not just, I'm playing this shit. How important do you feel radio play is? It's important. It's yeah, important. And do you do you do but, go down that avenue? But yeah, I'm linked with Bay Bay. I'm linked with Hit That. So I ain't worried about that. Yeah. Okay. It's just I haven't said 
boom, I'm finna do this right now. I'm I'm setting it up as we speak. Okay. So you'll you'll start you'll see what I mean. Okay. But yeah. you make the hit. That's what I really trying to say. You make it. Is is you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Yeah, we're giving to you. Let's go. <laughs> Number one. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Right now, man, I can't lie. Oh, he said I already gave him to him. Now nah, I can't go with the Louisiana. I'm Come talking on. about right now. Yeah, right now. Oh, no, top, I know. It, we, it's, we going it's, three. It, we going three top, first. In, in it, no, just three artists. All right. Your all time favorite, dead or alive, it's gonna, any genre. This is gonna number blow some people's mind, man. Drake. Drake, your number one. Drake, number one. Okay. You can't argue with the, uh, you know. Numbers don't lie. Drake. Huh? Uh, well, we don't know. Numbers do lie. Shit. Who else? Number two. Who else I'm listening to, man? Uh, like I said, this could be your favorite of all time, dead or alive. I know this might fuck up some people. I fuck with uh, I fuck with Young Boy, man. Young Boy? Yeah, I fuck with NBA. He's ain't gonna be home too. They said he ain't get. He coming home. Yeah, yeah. Drake, Young Boy, number three. Man, I gotta go to the R and B too. Who I got with? Who I fuck with on R and B side? Man, I fuck with so much music, bro. I can't even put it on like three people. I can't even lie to you. Oh. Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Do you think you're better than Michael Jackson? Hey, no. Hey, it's been said on this show. Uh, no. But <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So, no. <laughs> Drake, NBA, and uh, uh, I know that shit just off the wall. No, I like it. If you like ask it. me any other time, it'd probably be somebody different. No, but no, I like that it. Drake wouldn't have changed, though. That's, yeah. that's like my. Why is Drake number one? What, what, just it, give me a breakdown. Just, just the shit he done, done in the amount of time, bro. Like, yeah, this shit crazy. Like, what artists right now you think bigger than Drake? Little no. baby, little baby ain't even bigger no. than Drake. And damn, how the fuck I forget little baby? Man, I, I probably, I probably would have, I probably would have switched Chris out. Brown, I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, I probably would have switched out Young Boy, uh, Chris Brown for the ba little baby right now. Yeah, you liking little baby? Little baby hard in a bitch. Really? And then he do the shit effortlessly. Like that nigga punch. He freestyle everything. I, I had a few people to tell me that you remind them of uh, the way you look. You remind them of money bag, yo. Yep. Everybody say that. Yeah, I, I say man. Back in a, the, it used to be R. Kelly. Really? It used to be R. Kelly. That's his. That's who he bring up on that's the show all the time. Look at yeah. <laughs> That's but, my nigga. But everybody yeah, now, since young, uh, since Money Bag been on the scene, everybody say I look like Money Bag. Money Bag, yo. Yeah, so you right about that shit. So what do you think about his music? I fuck with Money Bag. I fuck with Money Bag. I feel like Money Bag is a trendy, trendy artist. He makes, you know what I'm saying? He makes songs for whatever's going on right now, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. And that's where a lot of his hits come from, if you notice. Yeah, yeah. How, how did what? Okay. And I'll ask you this, uh, NBA young boy, man, you know, ind independent, mm -hmm. uh, running the scene, pretty much uh, locked up and still got number one hits. Uh, what do you think make him different than you? Because you had the same amount of time. That's a shit. I can't even answer that one. Like you said, man, God time. You know All right, you put it back on me. I can't, I can't argue with God. But, but you see where I'm like, coming at. You see where I'm coming like, from with it, right? Yeah, I know. That's how I know I'm finna make a million. I feel like if if um, God would have gave me a million back then, I would have blew that shit right now. But me going through two hundred, blowing through two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars now. Once I once I get a million, I'm gonna actually know how to do it. Cause you gotta look. It's a lot of artists in the city who had a hit from the from the uh, party boys. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know I was around in their area. I, yeah. Era. I was a kid, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In the clubs with them trying to push my music. But long story short, if I would have had a big check by then, it would have been gone. So I feel like now he finna give it to me because I know what to do with it. And I'm going to help a lot of people. There it is. You know what I'm saying? Is it, is So NBA Youngboy, just a little bit more about him. Do you feel like, um, yeah, uh, you think he's going to act right when he get out this time and, and – uh, Walk to steady, straight I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a secret. One of the secrets was before I even knew Young Boy, I knew uh, Dark Skin and the Plug. You know who that is? Okay, no, I don't. He so, might know. You know Dark Skin and the Plug. Dark Skin and the Plug is a plug out here that stay out here for World Star. Okay. And I was talking to, and I'm gonna tell you one of the secrets. This is for anybody knew Young Boy. He was like, uh, Young Boy finna drop 20, 20 uh videos all on World Star back to back. Wow. You know how much that shit is? like Damn. I didn't even think I, know. I didn't even think of a budget, but Damn. From, just just so you know, some of the prices I got for World Stars, eight thousand. Yeah. 
for videos to be put on there. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn, he finna drop 20? He was like, yeah. I don't know who who was his. He had to have some money. to answer. That's what I'm trying to go to where you going, or to what the question you asked me. So just imagine dropping 20 videos back to back on the biggest platform at that time. They had no choice but to get hip in tune to you. So they helped this career a lot. I had never seen somebody drop 20 um, world star videos back to back. At that time, never seen. I, I didn't even have. At that time, I ain't had no money, so I already knew I couldn't. You <laughs> so, know what I'm so you think that that he pretty much behind him? That, yeah, hey, he had, he, he had, had, he had a You big, know, you hang with Birdman a lot when he, he was had, coming he up. He had a big bag behind him, man. Yeah, shit show. Yeah, yeah, and that. that so, do you when Cause, you? Because when he uh, told me, "Young boy," I was like, oh, "Who the fuck is Young Boy? Like, who the hell is that?" Became the biggest artist in one of the biggest artists hey, in the world. That is smart. Because I, I got a cheaper price than that, but. That's smart though. Wow, yeah. so, so I think I think world start be looking at niggas with thinking they got money and they'll hit your ass with whatever you look like you got. Motherfucker tell me eight eight thousand dollars just to be put on their page. Man, you crazy. So yeah. is this your brand? Huh? Or the brand you wearing? Ah, uh, nah, this is a little brand out of Atlanta, man. Um, so do you have a brand? Uh, I got a, a record label called AFNT. A A F E N T. It's I'm talking about as as merch. Do you have merch? Yeah, I got a little bit of merch. I got boxes and shit like that. But I'm finna start back up. I ain't really been focused but on merch right now. Let me know if there's something I can help you on. I've been you. in the clothing deal forever. Oh um, yeah, you be yeah you yeah. Be I've been first. doing this, so ain't no nigga in the city. Yeah, okay. I, well, let me pop mine a little bit, nigga. Nah, come see me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've been selling yeah. clothes a long, long time. Yeah, so, um, but I always look at ways that that you have to take that very. If I could give you anything. Thing, yeah. Take the merchandise very seriously yeah, yeah. because every star that you see me with, or anyway, yeah. it's because the clothes they they are always come with branding. It's so important when you're dealing with the music. That's it has, it runs hand in hand. That's true because every you got to find something. People will support you to the end as long as you got something to give them. You know that. That's real. And they, they took the CDs <sighs> away. That tangible hand to hand. So we got to find ways around that now. True. And so we got to have merch, merch that. caps, yeah. hats. Draws, socks, yeah. whatever we can do to try to market the, the brand. I actually got a uh, big step of clothing line for to come out. Dope. That, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I got a big step of clothing line. It should be out probably like in the next month, month and a half. And I'm, uh, I guess, collabing with another brand called Season 3. So they'll be, it'll be, you'll see it on my page pretty much in a, in, a, in a little bit. Yeah. If you could work with anybody, it would be Drake. Don't say it. I, who would it who be? It would be Drake. Because you got to look. You get a song with Drake, you you really are already on the map. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You, if you get a song with Drake, you going to eat off you streams. You going to eat off streams alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would be the guy. So I knew when I asked you that, I'm like, yeah. oh, nah, he going Drake. How much he charge for a feature? Man, I have, man ain't no telling, man. I, I, it's, it ain't no less than 200K. That's cool. Two hundred. You gonna get it back. Two hundred, three hundred. Yeah, you gonna get that back. You gonna get that back. That's coming same, right back. Part of the same money. But, but just yeah. saying that, you gotta look at how much money in music, bro. People get three hundred k just for th- twenty seconds of their voice, twenty five seconds of their voice. Shit, crazy. Do you think that you would do would have done better if you um had you know like shopped outside of just Louisiana and Texas, maybe up West Coast, East Coast? Yeah. Atlanta, you know, Florida. You mean with uh, Big Step or with, what? Period. Just when you went when, when, in the early stages when you was coming out, you know. Yeah. And I know the capability, well, maybe the, the, the opportunity may not have been there. Yeah, yeah. But if, but if you'd have had it, if I would have had it, it would have made a difference. Yeah, it would have made it? a big difference, but I was so lost. Like I said, I didn't have nobody. It, I didn't have anybody, like literally zero. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I didn't know which way to move. I didn't even know how to be able to reach out to a person in Atlanta. Or who would I even yeah. talk to? But now I do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Now I'm connected. Now I'm, you know, do the meet and greets in Atlanta, Oklahoma. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But, yeah, it would have helped for shit, for shit show. I had a, a Rain on here. Rain say that nobody packs out a, a venue uh, over 2,000 like Mo3 did. Um, do you feel like you, 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 you'll be at that level to pack out a I'm venue? A, I'm going to be one of the biggest faces of the city. Like I'd be one of the biggest artists out of the city. You'll see. Do you 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 mentioned say uh, you mentioned uh, World Star, but you didn't mention and we mentioned Half Pint, but we didn't mention Say Cheese. I knew you were gonna say that. 
Um, so say cheese. Say cheese. What's the deal with you and uh, Mr. Sean Cotton? I mean, uh, how? Why I, you say I, that? Because I, I, I just uh, you supposed to, uh, if you dealing with music yeah. in all these years, yeah. you yeah. and him supposed to either ran into each other or something yeah, in this know. Dallas market. He from he from Philly, but he lived in Dallas nah, like you from real. a very young age. So nah, why real. do you think that he never even uh, recognized you? Or do y'all have a relationship? No. Nah. I don't, I've been trying to I've been trying to get that dude, man. But you know, I just I always just went to shit, just keep working. Okay. Man, eventually, you know, eventually the motherfucker catch on. But you gotta look. I've never had a say cheese post. I've never had a world. That's store. what I was asking. I've never had a say cheese post. I've never had a world store post. None of that shit. All this off the muscle, off the grind. You feel me? Why not a say cheese post when that's what a lot of guys do from this area? They work for that. Huh? No, no. Like people pay me. <laughs> What'd you they say? Do. They work for a say cheese post. They work for it. Yeah, no, but yeah, somebody pay, yeah. pay. Some people pay to yeah. for that post. So, but why haven't you ever I, invested I might, in that? I might. You uh, see what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah I might. In, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. With this next video I drop, which is I'm up now, I might invest in a in a post because I hear that's a you know that's that ain't too much. I hear. I, ain't go, I don't even want to put it on here, you know what I'm saying? But I hear that's pretty affordable. Yeah, but I mean, I ask that because if you, you, it's like fishing. Yeah. You, you, when you go fishing, you country boy, you know, yeah. you take out a, a beetle spin or, or a sugar <laughs> or, 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 or a bait. Or yeah. You got to fish. Yeah. You got to throw what's, you know, yeah. some on say cheese might hit for you harder yeah. than anything ever hit. But see, this is the thing. Or, or you know, you go on it, different it, platforms. It, it, it has to be controversial. On say cheese? I'm just saying, if you wanted to hit mm -hmm. hit, if I'm you wanted, G, gotta, if you wanted to, be. if you wanted to hit hit, <clears throat> it gotta be controversial. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Yeah, it gotta be controversial. It gotta be. You don't think it can be just a good song? Mm -hmm. Outside was a good song. You say you you purchased it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't controversial when you purchased it. No, it wasn't. So what? You you see what I'm saying? It, mm -hmm. it could be something that's so good that people just gotta have it. Yeah. Yo. You, cause you're a good you 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 artist. Yeah, so I get what you're saying. You know, the controversial that, part, cause that, everything you look at, you looking at it from your see, eye gate and your you understanding. Know, you gotta understand these bloggers have learned that clickbait is where it's at now, and you you know what I mean by clickbait. Where it yeah. be like, K Twan said, "Fuck such and such," you know what I'm saying? Click on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's where that's where they get you at now. Oh fuck that! It's almost like how I went viral this time. K Twan said he'll be trap boy. And Lil Runny, you know what I'm saying? That was clickbait, but everybody fell into it without even watching the interview. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, say, I heard, yeah, I heard you said you was better. You you were better than uh, you top three or something in the yeah. city. And, and that's, that's the thing, I heard bro. that before I heard. Man, that. I, I before got, I could even see. You, I heard man, that. Man, you know? Trap boy just started getting good this year. I didn't got I didn't got so much backlash from that, but it's like I accepted it because I'm gonna stand on what I said. And people you still feel like, that way. What? I'm gonna start feeling like I'm top one in a minute. You'll see. Top Shit. one. Top one. It's Who just do you me. think is better than you in the city right now? I ain't say nobody was. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I, nah, I'm saying I ain't say nobody was. You, so you, That's a true statement. I don't think nobody So is. you think that uh, you don't think Yellow make better music than you? Mm -mm. I, I think he had a bigger, he got a bigger status than I do right now. But I don't think he can make more better, I don't think he can make better music than me. Nah. Mm-mm. I don't really not ask that because that's that's the one right now that yeah yeah that's the one yellow the biggest artist out the city right now he bigger than trap he bigger than me you know what yeah. I'm saying right now at this point but you got to look life ain't no race it's a marathon you for sure me? for sure you you got me right now I was shit I was broke I was broke two years ago but I got two two hundred three hundred now you know what yeah. I'm saying I'm a I'm I'm a I'm a, I'm a surpass I'm a surpass for so sure will you. You and Tay Money ever drop a song together? Nah, but we finna uh, we like you I see said, what I heard you earlier, yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. that's an opportunity. I think yeah, that's yeah. a good that's, feature that's, to go get right there. That, that'll be a you know good. One. Yeah, he know, my my partner know we got a show coming up pretty soon. Me yeah. and her, and me and her gonna talk about it then and there. I got people that know her people, so it's gonna be easy. You know what I'm saying? Cause she elevating like a motherfucker too. Yeah, yeah. yeah she from well, so that's country. Don't, don't even give me the low. East Texas, but she, yeah, she I rap heard. Dallas. But yeah. do you ever tap in East Texas and go down and do shows? Man, or? I fuck with East Texas, bro. I'm, I'm being fuck, real. I'm from with, down there, so I'm I asking because they I watch fuck, this show heavy. To be yeah, honest, yeah, I fuck with Abilene, Abilene, Colleen, East. I, I fuck with all them parts, man. You all gotta, the smaller you, towns. You right. gotta fuck with them. Like you got to. Like I fuck with. It, it be a lot of my on my fan page on my on my. You know what I'm saying? 
from East Texas. So I fuck with East Texas wow. a whole bunch, man. Well, man, and then, how can people get a hold to you? Which I know you you millioned up, but let's go ahead and oh, say yo. it anyway. Oh, you already know, man. Instagram, I'm on K21 Fame Music. You know what I'm saying? I changed my name to K from K21 Fame to K21 Fame Music because I'm going through the verification process right now. You know what I'm saying? I have my blue checks pretty soon for all them hating ass niggas out yeah, there. Yeah, that blue check, <laughs> baby. Girl, I yeah, at me, niggas, hey. niggas got at me about that. Hey. They said nigga ain't got blue hey. check, bro. I don't even know what that shit mean though. Well, you got what, a plot what, for it. I what think. What is it gonna change when I get it? Because I'm about I to. I think you can start getting paid for it. Because no, nah, I get paid already. I'm now you ain't got no damn blue check yeah, like for my heavy. reels yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. When you get four so many followers, heavy. yeah. For what? You understand for like heavy, heavy, like bigger money. Like, I understand Yo. you getting paid for the small stuff, but yeah, so a lot of people getting paid for the small stuff. So yeah, yeah that's that, that's that's what I'm going through. Everybody right now, don't. Man. If you don't have a certain amount of no, people, they don't they don't give you that I'm opportunity like on your reels and all that. For shit sure show. You know for what I'm saying? Show. That's what you got to think. But yeah, but man, I have my blue check soon. Uh, shit, we didn't even talk about uh, Fifty Cent posted this me in his Fifty his, Cent posted you posted me on on his, on his website in his magazine. And my now homeboy he, Camp, the one uh, guy that I deal with, he he got posted too. So how did what happened on that? What happened? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if he picked the story up. I don't know what how he even caught it. When in Houston, he been coming to Dallas you know, a lot. I so you no run clue. into that nigga I had a show, nickel? I done had a show with uh, 50 and Boosie in the same club before. That shit was epic. So maybe they maybe Boosie. they seen something in you. That shit was crazy. You'll never know what a nigga but, here by uh, say. But this is shit you can Google. You know what I'm saying? So like, 50, well, how did you hear about that? Shit, my uh, partner hit me up one day. was like, because he, he, he a big magazine I don't know, editor or whatever the fuck it is. Um, he was like, man, you know 50 Cent just posted you three days ago on his This Is 50 magazine? I was like, hell no. You know what I'm saying? He sent me the link, and that's how I found out. And so, I posted it on my page. And and did niggas, niggas say that's fake, too? Like, shit, that's, you know, what, niggas that's what I'm saying. You can go Google that, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These niggas will come at you, boy. Yeah, K-12, they gonna come at you. I love that shit. That's good. They say anything make feel good. They say anything make themselves feel good. Yeah, yeah. Man, so, I had to learn, bro. Because like I told you, I've never been that type of person in that type of light, either. I had to learn that that shit really, ben you really benefit from that shit. Mm -hmm. How long had you been, uh, how long had it been on the magazine? Because when you found out, had it been on there or it just had went Nah, on? I think he just put it on there like four days ago. Okay, four days before yeah, that? Yeah, it got okay. a little article about me in there. What did uh, they say? Just the, the co-sign from Drake, that's it. Really? It had yeah. the Drake co-sign on there? It had the Drake stuff on there, yeah. And where I was from and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. everything. Louisiana yeah. up to Texas and yeah. all that. Mm. That's dope, man. Yeah. That's dope. That's favor. And that's the crazy part. And favor is, ain't fair either, no, nigga. So it's like, like that. I ain't even know nothing about it. People don't believe. Like, nigga, I knew nothing about that. You know what wow. I'm saying? Wow. Like, I don't know who's picking this shit up. Who... Who's in charge? I don't know none of that 50 shit. Cent, 50 Cent a hustling nigga, man. He probably, yeah. hey, he watching. Nah, facts. Hey, I think every, you don't never know who watching you, you know, know. page one. You don't you know. Gotta, that's why you got to just keep going, man. I, I, I tell so many artists on my shows now, bro, like, don't give up because you never know who watching you. You never know. one, And it, all it takes is one hit to change your whole life. I, I've already experienced it. Yeah. I'm still getting booked out big step. I hate, I, I'm tired of this song. You know what I'm saying? That's I'm a still, blessing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm still booked off that song and it's three years old. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you, anything on uh, Kodak Black, you a fan of his? I fuck with Kodak. Yeah, you like his music? Yeah, I fuck with Kodak, but I can't really, I can't really sit here and lie to you like I can recite a, you don't know recite none of a verse of Kodak fully. I or can't. the baby. Or the baby, hell no. I can't. Never ride with, with, with <laughs> you. Th that nigga say all the baby. All the baby. One of them niggas, man. Shit. But I, I get it because you so focused on your music. That's true. And ain't nothing wrong with that, brother. That is hundred percent. Say, true. man, we love you, brother. Hey, man, I appreciate. Listen, man, me. is there anything else you want to get off your chest before you get out that seat? Hey, man. Shit, like I said, top three in the motherfucking city. Boy, say the top three. Hey, hey listen, nigga top, say, the nigga say, top listen, one man. No, the he, nigga he, say the top, the he, top, he nigga, he, three. He say he won. In the city. No, hey. no, he say hey. he won. Hey, better than him. Soon, yeah, soon, soon, soon to be. He said he number one. Hey, hey what do you, you <laughs> think he number one? <laughs> God, you say go on and look that up. He said number one. Number one, baby. Number one. Number one. No, I think I know one by practice. Hey, oh, here we go yeah, again. Hey. This nigga bipolar rapper. <laughs> yeah. I don't even got time for this tonight. Really, he rap one day. Next day, he done with yeah. rap. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't rapping till Ball Talk blow up. Nah, oh, really? Really. So what, what's up with the so and I'm shit, boss talk is? already blowing up. <laughs> shit, it been on my radar. I ain't gonna lie. Hardcore. Like you right. start. Hey, thank home. you so much, man. Nah, that's real. So uh, uh, rainwater. Uh, do you 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 ever think you could go into the main? I'm gonna ask you this because I mess with him. You think you could be managed by rainwater? 
Let me answer that truly. Be uh, real. I ain't gonna lie, man, but you know, being in the city so long, Rainwater name is uh, tainted. Okay. That's the word for it. You know what I'm saying? It's tainted. You say you don't do good business. I'm pretty sure him and Mo3 had good ass, a good ass relationship. So I'm pretty sure he never probably did nothing to Mo3. But asking me right now, would I let Rainwater manage me? No, I wouldn't let him manage me now. Do you, you feel know, like I, he's a good manager? Because would, he did a lot of that footwork you just yeah, yeah, was talking yeah. about going yeah, to these places, yeah. getting people I can't, to recognize. I can't knock what him and Mo3 did. They, they did some, you know what I'm saying, big. Big, big, but right now, nah. I would, I would, in order for somebody like Rainwater to be my manager, I would have had to come up with him as a kid or some shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay, to really trust. Yeah, to really trust him, because I don't trust nobody, bro. I like, get he got trust issues. Uh, man, what? <laughs> and, and you gotta look. We talking about the rap game. The rap game. You just said it was. It, it, man, it's like shit, wrestling. This shit fake as fuck. Wow. This shit fake as hell, man. They peek who they want so they can puppet them. That's it. Wow. That's hey, it. man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. man. You a dope I got dude, one man. More Whoa! Oh, shit. Miss Jamaica got you, Golly. nigga. It's going to be serious, so nigga. So, why all those tattoos? Shh. I ain't going to lie, man. I get tattooed when I get bored. <laughs> That's an honest question. I mean, answer to you. I okay. get a tattoo when I'm bored. You know what I'm saying? Some of them mean stuff, but it got so addicting to the point, I didn't want to see no more skin. Wow, yeah, that's, that's how it got, it, got. It, it got that bad, you know what I'm saying? What was like, your first tattoo? Have you ever been to prison? No, hell no. Nah, you going. know they always talk about, you know, with the tattoos. Hey, and stuff yeah, like I ain't that. going either. First, <laughs> first tattoo. What was it? First tattoo was uh my mama name on my neck. Wow. Yeah. You went there. Yeah. The yeah. first one. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Mom still alive? You gotta look. This yeah, my mom's still okay. alive, but I ain't say this. I got I st I was tattooed up at 11 years old. Wow. Yeah, I've been tattooed. Everybody knows. Like, I was tattooed in eighth grade, seventh grade. <laughs> yeah. Wow, man. That's dope. Yeah. But what enticed you to get tattoos at that young of age? Man, this is that's a deep ass question because I'm going to honestly tell you, and it's, it's from the bottom of my heart when I say this. I always knew I was going to be what I am now. Wow. If that makes sense. Like, I always knew that. Like I'm gonna be big, like I'm gonna be a rapper. I'm gonna be always in the, and this is how I want to look. So I, I always was getting all these tattoos for my image. Wow! So you already was looking I at marketing looking strategies at, at 11 years old. Yeah, I was already. That's I didn't I didn't know it was marketing strategy at that point, but I just knew I wanted I wanted to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? And that's I, what it looked like. Yeah, and that's what it had looked like. You know what I'm saying? Wow, that's dope, man. Yeah. And you wanted to be like everybody else. Yeah, I mean, I was looking at AI at the time and shit too. You know, he okay. influenced me a lot. That's dope. Adam, Adam yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, that's dope, man. Well, thank you so much, man, for, for coming sure. on the show, man. We Already. love you, Boss Talk One Hundred One. Approved hey, man, now, man. You with us now, man. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time you have something you want to drop or yeah. it's something that you're trying to get off yeah. the chest, you hit me up, same, man. Same to y'all, for real. Because it's gonna be most shit. Trust me, I'm. It's gonna be a whole bunch of controversy. I, hey, I well, can well, hey, all I can say is, <laughs> come see me. We gonna sit down at the round table. We gonna figure it out, man. And I appreciate you for coming on blessing our platform man. Man, for sure. say man it's been another great segment of boss talk 101